So I was in Alaska last year. I heard the most amazing story I've ever heard. This guy in Alaska last year kills the biggest grizzly bear ever killed in the history of killing grizzly bears. Pretty big deal. Uh, this bear, when it stood on its hind legs, was 14 foot tall. Two foot, three inches bigger than any bear ever seen by man. Uh, to put the scale of this bear into perspective, I mean, I'm, I'm six foot two. That's two of me and then more. <laughs> I worked out the math before the show. <laughs> to put the scale of this bear into perspective, a 14 foot tall grizzly bear could walk up to the average single story house and look over the top of it. If your pool was bigger, I would take a bath. <laughs> I've decided to eat your pig. Or whatever a giant bear might say to himself, were he looking over the top of your house <laughs> and you had a small pool <laughs> and a pig. <laughs> he was killed by a forest ranger who was just out in the forest rangering. And what wanders into the clearing but a 14-foot tall bear? It's hibernation season. The bear's got to eat. It's got to go to sleep. He decides to eat the forest ranger. This guy pulls out a 7-millimeter magnum pistol, shoots this bear seven times. Bear keeps coming. This guy has the presence of mind, folks, while backing up to reload this pistol, shoots the bear seven more times and kills it. I would have just curled up into a little ball and prayed the bear just wanted to fuck me. <laughs> I'd have been going, I hope I give a good blowjob because we're about to find out right now. <laughs> and then, as if that's not enough, they examine the bear, and in its massive breastbone, they find five slugs from a 38 caliber pistol, and then inside the bear, they find the gun and the guy that shot it. <laughs> he was a missing hiker. He's not missing now. Folks, if you ever wander into grizzly territory with a 38 caliber pistol to protect yourself with, do me a big personal favor and take just a few minutes with a big metal file and file the front side of that pistol completely off so you don't chip a tooth while you're shoving it in your mouth. Because <laughs> you might as well have brought a can of off. Not even deep woods off, regular fucking off. <laughs> Which is what they should have called deep woods off. If they'd have called it fuck off, I'd have bought three cases the first day. I'd have, get the fuck off me, you know. <laughs> what wanders through your mind when you realize your last line of defense against grizzly bear attacks doesn't work? There's nothing you can do. You can't outrun this bear. You can't outclimb this bear. The only recourse you could possibly have at this point is to shit your pants to make yourself taste bad. <laughs> and pray the bear licks his food before he eats it. <laughs> oh, that's flat nasty. And then they call it a crazed man-eating bear. Well, why don't we just call it a bear? <laughs> the old bear too, man. He was 37 years old. That's old for a bear. He's like me, man. He stove up. He ain't fast like he was when he was young. Still got to eat. He looks down one path, sees a deer running 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Looks down this path, sees some Nimrod listening to Fleetwood Mac on an iPod. 
I wonder how fast that thing can go. Boy, that guy gave such a good blowjob. I'm sorry, I ate him now.